Hello guys, I want us to look at how you can come up with a, a poultry management system. Uh, I'll be taking you through how to come up with one using Microsoft Access database. So this is the ER diagram. Uh, we shall have the a module of bird purchase where we shall have the bird stock and bird stock will be affected by mortality, that is deaths of the birds and also uh, the sales. So the stock will diminish or will go reducing as birds die or as we sell the birds. Then uh, we shall have the feeding module where we shall be purchasing the feeds and also that means we shall be adding our stock of the uh, that is the, the the feed stock then this one will uh, diminish or will just uh, reduce through feeding or consumption so guys we shall have those two modules also we shall have the egg selling module where we shall have accumulated eggs as they are laid and then we shall have our egg stock and then in the our in the egg stock the egg stock will diminish or reduce as we do more sales. So guys, we shall also have the medicine module. This is where we shall invite the veterinary to come and treat or vaccinate our birds. Therefore, we shall have the medicine purchase. And also, we shall, that one will be added to our medicine stock, uh, which will go down as uh, per the daily consumption of the medicine. So guys, those were the ER diagrams of um, how our system uh, will look like. Therefore, in our next part, that is part two, I will be doing the tables. That is the tables that um, uh, will be used or will be found in our poultry management module. Welcome, guys. Let's move on with part two of poultry management system. Guys, uh, the first thing is to create a database. So you hit on uh, blank database. Then here we, sh uh, we shall write uh, poultry, that is uh, poultry, poultry management, management system. Then you direct where you want uh, your file. So I want my file to be saved on my desktop. So I just uh, click on OK, then create. Then after having done that, I need to create the tables. So I go to create, uh, then I just go to create, then table design. Uh, here I will create my table. So I have the, the port record. This one will be auto number and the primary key here then we shall have uh, the type of the bird type of the bird shall have age of the bird i shall have the shed in which the bird resides we shall have the buying price buying price we shall have uh, the number or quantity number or quantity of the birds uh, bought then the total uh, buying price for the total buying price then we shall also have the number died number died or number dead there then we shall have the cause of death uh, cause of death cause of death then we shall have the uh, that is the selling price selling price shall have the selling price shall have the number or quantity sold quantity sold then total as a selling price it's just how it's total selling price then we shall also have the eggs read that is the quantity of eggs read there then uh, 
we shall have the eggs sold and then we shall have the uh, that is total total eggs amount that is the amount sold then after having done that one that one will cater for the bad stock so here we shall have we can have this one as lookup wizard so we just go to uh, the wizard here therefore I just go here type I go to next then here we can have uh, various like now we can have kienyeji can have improved improved kienyeji can also have now the rares the normal ones the rares so this is improved so finish then after having done that age is number age is number then shared remains uh, this one can be we can have it as currency this one number this one can be currency uh, this one number uh, then selling price can be number or uh, currency then this one should be currency number uh, sold number X read the number it's going to be currency then after having done that we can go to cause of death here we go to lookup wizard then I will type the various I want I go to next here uh, we have uh, natural can have uh, can just just have a uh, sickness uh, sickness can have predator 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 uh, or others other causes like that then after having done that you can save uh, that table here you can save this one so this is poultry or bird birds details then we go ahead and create the next one just go to create table design here now we create the uh, the feeding so we shall have the the feed code the feed code this one can be outer number and the primary key then we shall have the feed type feed type then you can have uh, the quantity quantity boot quantity boot this is a number then you shall have the quantity fed this is a number we can have the date of buying date of buying date and time then we shall have the price the price this is currency then we shall go ahead and have the the total spend and this can be number or currency currency then from there we shall have the shed the shed in which uh, this food uh, this feed is uh, taken for consumption so guys save this one as uh, feeds we go ahead to our next table create then table design shall have the medicine table therefore we shall have the medicine uh, code can have the medicine code auto number and primary key then we shall have the uh, the type of medicine medicine whether normal or vaccination then we can, we can have the cost cost of medicine cost of medicine currency then we have date date admin listed date and time then we can have the shed the shed in which this border resides then after having done that 
I just need now to save that one. This is medicine. medicine. So guys, those are my three tables. And uh, the next thing I need to do is to create relationships. So I go to database, tools, relationships. Then I need to remove these ones. You just press click and press delete. Then right click, go to show table. I show table by double clicking on them. So these are my three tables, guys. And then I need to create a relationship. Uh, so I have the shared. Uh, take that one to that one. So in case you get this in the dominant, you will also uh, need to go ahead and uh, do a bit of uh, normalization. That is uh, on our uh, that is on our table. So guys, I cross that. Then I need to come here, create, then table design. We create the shared ID, shared, shared ID. What is uh, shared ID? This is outer number, primary key. Then we have the the shared, the shared name. Then save this one as shared, shares. Then from there, I cross, I double click my shades. So we shall have the shades. We can have a random, random shade. We can have New York, we can have Nairobi, we can have um, Lagos. Can have uh, tree ori. You can also have something like um, a Dubai. Th those are the names of our sheds. So, guys, I cross that. I go back to the birds. I click go to design view. So, I go to where the shed is here. Here, I go down here. Just go to look up wizard. Then, guys, this time round, I reuse option number one. I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. So I go to next. This time round, I hit on shades, next. Then I need to have the shade name. We take it to the right hand side, next, uh, next. Then these are the feeds. So I click next. Then I just click on finish. Um, after having done that one, I save that, then I go back to uh, this one, to feeds, I do the same, go to design view, go to where the shed is here, I go, go down here, go to uh, rook up wizard, choose the first option again, next, uh, I want to read the sheds, next, also I read this one, next, 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 finish. There we are. Then I go to the last one, guys. I go to medicine. Right click, go to sign view. Then I go to where the shades is. Then you just go to a rook up wizard. Then option number one, next. Choose the shade, next. Uh, then go to shade name. I want to read the shade name. Uh, like that, then I hit on finish. Then after having done that one, guys, I save this. Right click, cross all. Then I just go to database tools. Now I can just right click here, uh, right click. And we need to uh, click on relationships. Then if, for example, if I remove now these ones, if I remove these ones, then you just go to show tables. Uh, guys, uh, having done that one, you see now uh, we shall have created a relationship so you just need to click there and force. Double click there and force. Double click there and force. There we are. So you have noticed that um, I have been in a position to create the relationship. Uh, uh, the relationship is uh, coming out from the, that is from the sheds. So all these tables will be connected together using this, uh, uh, that is using the, the 
shades that is using the shades uh, table this is how now the relationship uh, looks like you see now we have one to many relationship then after doing that i save that one and then close and then now i will head to uh, the query so guys remember to subscribe remember to share my files also remember to comment so that um, we can be in a position to uh, uh, go on with the database so uh, before I exit, you realize that uh, you can read the sheds here from this table. You can also go to feeds table here and also uh, read that. You can also read the same sheds from uh, medicine table. So guys, that is uh, the end of part one. In my next uh, video, I will be doing the queries. That is the, uh, I will be doing the bad stock control query and also uh, feeding uh, module uh, and also I'll be doing the medicine module so I uh, keep on uh, waiting for that okay welcome back to our part three of poultry management system in this session we shall be designing queries and later on we can design the uh, forms so guys uh, you just go to create tab here then you go to query design then you shall have your tables here like for example you can start with the shades so I click on the shades then I double click on the field I also double click that one then save it so this can be saved as the shares uh, query then we proceed we cross that one we go back to create then query design this time around here we may opt to have the birds query so we double click the birds then make sure that we can see all the feeds here so we double click can have the, the, the those feeds there remember queries are very important since you can use computations or uh, mathematical functions here that probably you may not uh, be in a position to use in the tables so you double click you double click you proceed doing that uh, that is egg read egg sold and total x then from there we save that one that one is uh, birds that is uh, birds query then we press enter we cross that we go to the last one the medicine query create go to query design then medicine then this time around you can have the medicine code the type of medicine cost a date administered and the shed then you now save that one that one is the medicine query then after that, after having done that one, you can just try to see whether your queries are uh, really working, whether they are readable. And for that case, uh, we can go back to one of this one. Uh, right, for example, we can uh, capture birds details in a form. So you can just hit on the birds uh, table, go to design design tools sorry create then you just tap on this one uh, create form so this one will populate for you a form that is uh, very nice so your work will only be editing where you can right click go to design view for example i want to edit this one so you can just go to this point change the color accordingly can also do the same to this just drag your mouse do that one then on the other hand uh, you can also be in a position to highlight this and increase the size like now you can have the that side that one also you can have uh, that one then have the colors accordingly also you can drag this you can have uh, the colors accordingly then in case you need to 
uh, put the different uh, like different colors in the background or even a picture you can now do it from the uh, design that is from the you click on the form from the uh, database tools here you can just go to uh, that is you just got to form design here sorry hadn't uh, seen that so you can just go to property sheet here and do uh, your stuff also some guys may opt to put buttons here if first of all we can change the color yeah? if we can just have that one then we run this is how our form looks like so you go to design you can also change the size of this one i go to format up here i change this one to 24 uh, centered bold and uh, that color so after doing that one you can assign buttons here for next etc so you just drag the bar this button here we need to have next button so finish on that i hit it again we need the previous button so you just go to previous next uh, then the up there finish you can also make them the same size then you can also have for add a new add a new so for the add a new you just go to uh, record operations add a new next then this is for add a new therefore this one can be add a new bad so edit that add a new bad so you can also highlight them go to format and change their styles make them color white yeah there we are you see now they they look different then guys uh, we can have you can have code for cross button therefore this code is just below this uh, video in the description zone so you can just copy this code copy this code then go to this form design uh, draw your toggle button therefore just go to where your toggle button is this is my toggle button so i can just draw it here then type cross form cross, or just cross then this button of mine just go to property up here then event i just go to on click event procedure hit the three dots then paste your code here therefore just change the name here this is now our poultry poultry a poultry management system so i just now save this one once i save i just cross that so guys when i run this one and cross you see it will bring this message that poultry management system confirm exit no if i, if I confirm exit it can it just goes so we can still edit on that button of ours just go to this button cross therefore make it red just go to this point make it red and color white so we can increase the font cross so this is our cross button guys here on the other hand we shall include button to hide and unhide ribbon so we just go to form design up here then go to uh, toggle button you can draw the toggle button here then this is this button is to uh, minimize or maximize that is hide hide ribbon that is hide that is hide stroke and hind and hide ribbon so this button will have two functionalities therefore you can also edit it to be black and white color then increase the font size so if when i click on this button once it hides the ribbon the ribbon is this upside but when i double click on it um, it unhides or hides or whatever so i just go to event then on click i just hit on the event procedure hit three dots then here guys i type that um do cmd dot uh, show ribbon show turba the turba name is ribbon so this is ribbon then you put a comma uh, this you choose this option no so when i click 
the ribbon will be hidden. But when I double click, the ribbon will be displayed. So I just needed to copy this and change no to yes. So I now go to the next option on double click down here. What happens? So on double click, guys, uh, we type this. Uh, we, sorry. We copy this. Copy. Then paste. Then change the last part. No to yes. Therefore, that one we display the ribbon. So you see, we have killed two birds with one stone. One button has two functionalities. So when I run this, when I click, you see, guys, it hides the ribbon. But when I double click, it displays the ribbon. So this is our birds capture a form. We can still do more editing here. We can have our that is our birds uh, details capture the for capture capture window this is a birds capture a uh, window so if i run it this is what we have now so i just save it and cross that is one then we go ahead and create the feeds form so you just go to uh, create uh, having uh, hit the tables or selected the table then I hit on this button it operates for me the feeds capture as a module so my work is just to edit right click go to design view then I just uh, drag that one um, sorry sorry undo if I need them to be black bold and also vivid then after having done that one i just now again need to uh, enhance the word feeds like that so this is the feeds this is the feeds module this is the feeds mo module therefore you just need to uh, put some space there then also change the color right click here then have the that one uh, green so in case I needed to do the modification I just needed to drag my mouse and then pull to create space here so that when I run my stuff uh, this is feeds when I run my stuff guys this is what I have but now I needed to have my buttons here so I right click go to design view then I can just create somewhere where I need to have my stuff there so if I run this is what I have then can you go back you can still draw that one above this that is on top of this so that they look more attractive like that right click design view then i just needed to draw my buttons here so i'll draw my next button there also draw my previous button there previous button there then uh this one this one should be down this one this one can just be like that that is for next therefore let me remove this make them uniform I make them uniform just by drawing so I draw I go to previous next finish so that they can be uniform then guys we have the code we have the code for Crossing, if I just go back to a bad module, go to this one, go to property sheet, hit the three lines and copy the code. Therefore, well, this is our code. Remember not to copy the private and end sub. Then I can cross this. I go to this point here. Uh, sorry, sorry. I just go to my toggle button. I need to have my cross button here. So I just go to here, type cross, like that, then go to event on click, on click, event procedure, hit the three lines and paste your code. So that is my, my feeds model. So guys, when I click here, you see, it gives the same stuff here. Then now I am retained there. Therefore here, I don't have a button to add new. So I go to this point here, add new, I need to go to 
at this point hit the button then we shall have our add new button here add new so we go to record operations add new next text then finish then you can just pull this to have them like that so this is the our add record uh, module this one you can also add a delete delete record module there so you have a uh, record operations delete next text finish so this is one this is uh the next button this one you can also make sure that our buttons are well formatted they look nice so uh, my buttons look like that and uh, they have color red and uh, this one is a bit big so this is what we have you can also reduce the size of this to have be just like the others so guys this is my next form you see now uh, when i click on this one it's well functioning add record in case there was a new record here i'm in a position to uh, uh, do the necessary so i cross this one yes then we create the medicine module go to create then hit the same form therefore you will have your your stuff here this is our our uh, our form so right click go to design view i need to draw a that is a, a, a that is sub form uh, down here i just need to draw the sub form so i drag this here like that then from this one i just need to have the medicine code the medicine code next finish so this let's see what we have so this is my sub form here if i just remove the caption remove the caption then hit this one bring this one up to that point sorry for that so i need to to have that one somewhere there then right click go to this one have some different color then drag your mouse go to format uh, go to color board also increase the font size or oh, just put 16 then after having done that one save so this is our medicine module you can add the buttons here just go to form then draw the rectangle here just to make your work decent then we shall have our buttons so you can just include the add new record like that then cross form the others we shall use the navigators down there so we just need to to draw a toggle button so we just come to this point and take a toggle button then cross form cross form guys then go to property sheet event on click what happens so I, I paste my stuff there so that is the cross button for this time around i have decided just to use two two buttons add new and that then just go to format then put them color red black and red is okay yeah, black and red i think is okay since can read so if i run this one this is what i have then you can also go back to the next the that is the previous form that is the uh, the feeds right click go to the side view you can also in, uh, include the sub form for the feeds therefore just bring it there go to next finish this is our feeds remove the caption just bring it somewhere there feed type this is so big it should just be like the others yeah like that so save this is what we have our shall have our that is our sub form you can also increase this one to make sure that it doesn't hide any field like that good it is still hiding one so we can still pull to accommodate all the feeds so this is what we have we can also reduce the size of this one this one or hide this can hide this hide that one so that we can see the others so guys this is our sub form for the 
the feeds module before we can just save that go to the buzz details right click go to design view you also increase this one and then include the sub form by dragging drag and drop so this is define mine can have the p code the p code then next finish this is our sub form remove the caption then bring this somewhere there and then pull this one so that it can accommodate all the feeds so we shall have our uh, that is our, our forms like this so you see now you can be in a position to choose your stuff like that so guys uh, that is the the part that i wanted us to share today whereby we have created the queries and forms in our next module and the final module we shall be doing the calculation part of it so that when the system is updated you can be in a position to print various uh, reports so guys uh, thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe and also remember to comment so that i can be in a position to improve on my videos thank you very much let's proceed with our poultry management system that is in the final part so we can start by creating a feeds query uh, we had skipped feeds query so we just go to this point go to feeds then feeds code feeds type quantity uh, that is quantity boot quantity fed rate of uh, buying price total spend and shed so uh, in this point here we have the quantity bought and the price so in case you want to see uh, the sum here or the total we just need to go and put a semicolon then we have uh, we have quantity quantity bought quantity bought multiplied by price price that way so uh, if you look at this one this is the uh, formula so this is the formula guys you have the the formula this is the formula that is uh, quantity bought multiplied by price that's what we have then i can just save that one we go to this is feeds query then we go to the next one the next one is birds query go to design view of it now you want to have the total buying price so it is the buying price multiplied by number quantity so here you just put a semicolon a semicolon then this is number quantity multiplied by multiplied by the buying price the buying uh, the buying price that way so this is the formula for that matter this is the formula for that then if you want to see uh, the that is the the selling price we have the this one here we have the number sold multiplied by selling price so we put the semicolon this is the number sold time is uh, selling price that way so uh, we can proceed with the next one we want to see x grade the that is the total that is the x total x amount so this one is the x read multiplied by x sold so you put a semicolon here a semicolon before you have that one multiplied by uh, x x sold actually so this is the formula for that matter this is the egg read multiplied by the egg sold so those are the functions that are are supposed to be uh, there so that uh, when you go to birds details here uh, if for example I just go to a uh, buying price here I put five dollars 
then I bought 10 that will then I bought 10 then we have uh, for example we have the um, we have the selling price here is $20 and we sold 5 uh, we need to have the totals here so uh, we need to refresh the we need to refresh the the field so that is the source so i go to design view then i just go to property sheet up here then change the record source from the table to query so i just go to bad query and save that one there we are guys you see now the calculations are made for example here uh, there are 100 eggs and each egg is five so you see now i've been in a position to see the that is the the amount auto calculated for me so you can see what i have done is to uh, make sure that um, the record source has been changed therefore i just go again to design view here yeah? then i just go to data that is to this point here format just need to change something here so just click this and this one should be in constituents database there we are so after doing that i just go again to the the that is the feeds the feeds here i do the same i click go to design view then i change the record source from feeds to feeds query uh, for that case so that i can see the calculations so here i bought 10 quantity fed i fed five a date bought you can just choose the date here from the system price was 100 so you see i have spent 1000 then i can choose on which the feed type here is players there we are guys so if and i do the refresh that one that one now gets inside my my uh, sub form so after having done the calculations guys we can also populate the reports so i hit on bad query then i go to create here then i create on i hit on report so this is my report that is the bad report i save it that is birds report birds report birds report then i hit on feeds then go to create then report again now this is my uh, this is my feeds report you can just stay with that name or just change this one to r feeds report then medicine report go to create then report then i can be in a position to save this one this one is my medicine report that way so uh, so we can now proceed uh, we having uh, created this one we can proceed to create the the main form or the dashboard so i go to create here then I click on Brank Form. This is my Brank Form, guys. So I right click on it, go to Design View. Then hit on Save. This is my dashboard. Dashboard or main form or switchboard. Actually, this is a main form, not really a switchboard. So I can right click here. And uh, okay, I have already gone to Design View. So I just go to Form Design up here. Then I go to Property Sheet. I choose my form so that I can get data. So I want to put a photo here. So I click on all. Then I go to picture here. Hit the three dots. Uh, this is browse. It goes to my pictures. Then I can just go to uh, where the portrait is. Then I need to put this one as my dashboard. This is my picture. Then I want to put it uh, a stretch. So if I run, guys, this is my dashboard. You can see how that one comes. Right click again, go to design view. So after doing that one, I can uh, just be in a position to uh, draw or to 
uh, arrange my forms and my reports accordingly. So I click on the ribbon here and then type forms. This is my forms. Then go to format, increase the font size. Those are my forms. Yeah. We can just yeah, choose Karabrak. That is my forms. So I can just copy this and paste. Uh, then this one will be my reports here. Reports. Just type reports. So after doing that one, I go to this form design up here. I hit on the button and draw. So the wizard launches. I just go to form operations, open form next. I need to have my birds, uh, that's my birds detail. So, so I just go to next. This is my birds details. Birds details. Then I hit on finish. Again, I take the same one. I draw down here. Go to form operations, open form next. This is feeds next, next. So these are my feeds details. So this is feeds details. Then finish. Again, I click on the next one. I just go to form operations, open form, next. Then this time around, I go to medicine, next, next. So this is my medicine, medicine details. Uh, details finish again i click on form operations open form next then you can have that is the we have the that one medicine yeah those ones i think those ones are enough so i just delete this so the next thing is just to arrange them so we arrange them like that So you can just arrange them and also make sure that they are uniform with each other. You can also guys change the color, go to format, shape, you can change the color of our buttons that way. Then again I go to design and then now I want the forms. So this time around I go to form operations, preview form, uh, preview report sorry, buds report. So this is the BADS report, BADS report, then finish. Again, I draw this one. This is the uh, report, preview report. I go to feed report. So this is the feeds report, feeds report. Then we go to the last one, the last one here. The last one is report operations preview report next then we have the medicine report uh, this is the medicine medicine uh, report that way then again uh, you can just do the same make sure they are uniform or they are just close to each other then highlight sorry undo i just need to Hold shift and select that one format. This one they will be different color, it can be black and white. These are my reports. So, guys, if I save this one and run, this is my dashboard. You see now how my dashboard looks like, but I can separate these ones. You can just take this uh, these ones. You can just take these ones somewhere here to avoid to avoid hiding the photo so uh, this is how my dashboard looks like so when I click on this one guys you see now it's opening the forms accordingly you see it is opening my forms accordingly so when I go to the reports you see this is the report the report is um, opening uh, accordingly so if I go to my dashboard here this is the form that should uh, road so still uh, can just have this one highlighted all of them and take them down then have a heading here my heading here is portrait portrait management system then click outside inside got format got font increase the font size 
therefore you can just send pull this that way then this one should be sent somehow centered you can just make it to black for readability purposes so save run you see guys what we have this is our our dashboard and we can control almost everything from here so this one needed to go a bit that way yeah good so after doing that one you need now to arrange this uh, system in that when it loads it starts with a splash form and then the dashboard so guys i will just import a splash form from another database that i had done so you just go to get external data then new data source from sorry from database then you hit access then browse then mine are somewhere here so you just go to uh, my pictures here then i can just choose one from here so i open then go to forms splash i'm importing a splash form so that you can see here i have imported a splash form guys this one so i just needed to do a bit of modification so i right click go to design view then now change this one this is poultry poultry management system management system then this one can be delivering delivering chicken 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 to customers then we can change this photo by going to design view then choose form guys choose form so guys we click on we choose the form here yeah? then go to all we go to where picture is here change the picture by hitting on the three dots go to pictures uh, Paul tree then I need to put this one that way therefore this one uh, should be zoomed I can just change this to make sure that the the picture is vivid so this one to make sure the picture is vivid then I save that guys then the next thing I need to change the form that will be read after the splash form so when the splash form is open i click on view code here then i change this one to dashboard the form to open is dashboard dashboard that is the only place you change remember guys you can get a copy of this database from my website and um then you can be in a position to manipulate you can be in a position to copy and paste the codes for free so the next thing is to go to fire then i just go to options then current database i just go here display form i choose splash form that is the form that should read then the application title this is uh, poultry management system then from there in case you have an icon you can choose an icon but um i don't have it then from there you need to remove display navigation also remove allow full menus also allow default shortcuts then from there uh, you just hit on okay then after doing that one you save you then close the system and then open it so i open it see what happens guys you see what happens the system loads the the splash form and then the dashboard so guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe and also remember to make comments so that i can know where to improve on thank you very much